Okay, so I am in. I'm playing Xanima, which is a dungeon crawler that is going to be part of the Sui Sui Generous game line. So this is a dungeon crawler that's in that same kind of mode as that game. So I am going to try to make it through this first little section without completely decimating myself and or other well, hopefully I'll decimate other people. Hopefully I'll decimate them more than I'll decimate myself at the very least. I'm going to go ahead and equip myself with a nail board. Well, I don't know if they call it a nail board, but to me it's a nail board. And in case I need a reach weapon, there is a reach weapon right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. I'm going to head on to the first room which if you watched the video that I made with the first impressions you know that combat in this game is very very difficult um, oh wait I don't want to do that yet uh, I want to equip my my makeshift shield if you notice if with your makeshift shield you follow your cursor so I'm going to go ahead in and try to lure him out so this whole debacle doesn't take that long for me to die. Oh, I cracked him in a noggin. That was a good first hit. Good first hit. Oh, and he got me back. Oh. Block, 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 block. Overhead. Mm. Trying to block as much as possible. Okay, now... I've played this game a uh, couple dozen times. That is the best I've done so far in that fight yet. So I am mildly pleased with myself at this point. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip my torch. Start picking up some of my loot that I have found. Um, I'm going to pull his drawers right off of his body and put them on mine. You'll notice that my drawers go right into my inventory. And then I'm going to go see what is in this room of his. As you'll notice, the health down here is regenerating as well. Let's see what's up here. It is leather van braces. So that helps with coverage, impact, slash, and pierce, which is the first time I have actually seen that. You can see it go on my little paper doll. That is the first time I've seen van braces there, which makes me very very happy to see them because what that means is that there is randomized loot beyond you know one or two items that that happen to to fall so I've gotten boots from there before in some of my uh, we'll call them practice sessions I've gotten boots I've gotten what else did I got I got something else it was kinda weird oh I got um Mace weapons. That's what they're called. They're called. Oh, oh! Did you see me douche right in the head? Uh -uh. Douche. Oh. Physics. What? Get to know them. Close in. Whack. Come back with the shield. Over the head. Oh, she ducked. She dodged. She's ducking and dodging better than I am, which is crappy. The AI here is smarter than I am, but. I am bound to determine to just whack the crap out of her this time. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, don't turn your back, don't turn your back. No, 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 no. Oh, I bet you one good hit I could bring her down. No, not that hit. Ah. Yes! I brought her down. Victor. To the victor goes the spoils. Let's go pick up our torch so we can see exactly what we have gotten off of her. And then we will go and loot her like it was Detroit on Devil's Night. Okay. What does she have? She has breeches, suede trousers. What do I have on? Yes. Those will go right on my little buttocks. 
and she has on a tunic and I have on a cloth shirt so rock paper scissors tunic out does cloth shirt yet yeah. <gasps> tunic goes over cloth shirt even better that is rocking okay now my concern is she had a weapon I whacked the dog but Jesus that oh there it is there it is she had on a handsaw no wonder she was tearing my little buttocks apart I'm gonna go ahead and put that on and put this little hammer down here I'm gonna rearrange my little inventory okay so that it looks somewhat decent because I am kinda OCD like that which is not part of this story however it's part of my story um, one of the things about this game is that a lot of the... What is that? Do you see that little thing laying right there? That is another one. So in case ours breaks, I don't know how durability works in this game yet, but I guess we shall soon find out. Oh, that was so close. Okay, let's pick it up, rotate it around, and drop it on the table so it is out of my way. But yeah, I don't know how, honestly, durability works in this game. I don't know if I can break into these cartons. I don't know. There's a lot about this game that I just don't know yet. So, but this is just such an exciting, exciting game. When you have a game with physics like this that you've never had before, that just makes it huge, huge exciting for me. Okay, let's see what we got hanging around over here. Oh, we got a table, and our table has stuff on it. Can we pick up? We can pick up bowls. Nice. There is, what is that? Is that a hammer? It does not want to tell me. Okay, we'll come back and talk to it later. Maybe it'll want to talk to me then. This looks different. Okay. That's a machete. Okay, so it has impact of two, balance three, slash one. Okay, let me go like this and move this over here. Let me pull this one up. Um, the impact is lower, the balance is higher, and the slash is higher. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead with the machete. Put that on. I have these over here. Okay, what else can we find? Oh, another looks like Hatchimabobber. We got a couple of Hatchimabobbers laying around. Yay. Uh, even the littlest detail here may be something that you don't want to overlook. So, that's why it's really important. Oof, oof. You see me running into stuff like crazy? <laughs> um... Let me see. Okay, now my fear is that my next fight is going to be the last. However, I've gotten further on this one than I did on any of the others. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wait. Let me go ahead and pick this bad boy up and go into the hallway. Now, one of the things about the the mobs in this game is, is the mobs are not inherent... Oh. Well, one of the things you don't want to do is run into the buckets, or the environment. You don't want to run into the environment. The mobs themselves are not inherently aggressive. Look at the reach on that. But if you get too close, they will come after you. So we have a choice at this point. We could fight this mob or avoid him. Because I want to keep taping for a little bit more and get a little bit more information about the world we're in right now. Is that the same length as that board? Yep, so I'll stack it right there. I want to go ahead and I'm going to close this. Hopefully he won't come in because I have closed it. But you know what? I also want to, you have to really manipulate your camera. Let's see, can we pick up these? Oh, we can pick up jugs. 
Nice. It makes me wonder if I can fill the jugs with anything when I'm when I'm uh, carrying them. Over here is darkish. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Don't act like you ain't standing there looking at me all creepy like. Did you see that? Did you see that? Okay, first of all, don't stand on a board because so this little creepy dude out here will come after you. Okay, he's not there anymore. But you see him right there? He is carrying a big stick. That is the definition of walk quietly and carry a big stick. So let's close this door while we explore this area. Okay, we got some more tables here. Is there anything under any of this? Around, over. There is a book. A log of work orders. It seems though many people were involved in completing them. Many of the names seem strange and many items were described with words you've never seen before. Nice. I am going to, because I don't know if this will affect us down the line, but I'm going to go ahead and keep the book. Oh, there's my dog. Oh, sounds like my son's come home, so my dog's going to be going far, 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 far for a minute. Look at that sledgehammer. Nice reach. I'm going to hold on to that for a while, because we don't really need the the torch in here. So I'm going to go ahead and carry that around and see if anybody comes in which whack -a doodle I want to use first. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this over here. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that. I'm so used to escape getting you out of areas or out of menus. Oh, 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 don't trip. Oh, I've actually literally tripped my ragdolls before, which is never a good thing. Um, let's push that open, see if we can't see where the dude is, back it up a little bit, oh, there he is, you see him? Oh, uh, there's two, let's go over here, there's one just chilling there, I see you, oh, there's two of them, there's two of them, oh, one's coming out, in, 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 in. I want to know if I just go up and... Douche! Douche! Ugh. Oh, get me out of here, get me out of here, out of that area right there. I want to turn around and go... Ugh. You cannot swing wildly in this game because you will die just like I am fitting to do. Ugh. Oh, that was a good valiant effort. Good effort. Thank you for watching.